I am now introducing Insane Ian. Achievement unlocked! Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician. Because that's what I am, and that's what I do, and that's what this is, and that's why you're here, and that's why this week I am reacting to Kiss the Elden Ring by Starbomb. If this is your first time joining us, yes, I am a comedy musician, and I react exclusively to comedy music, because that is where my field of expertise is. What this means to you is that I'm going to pause the episode, pause the song, a lot, actually. This way I'm not talking over or laughing over the jokes and missing them. This way I can discuss how the lyrics and video work in tandem to help enhance the comedy. Sometimes I'm analyzing. Sometimes I'm summarizing. Sometimes I'm explaining jokes, which is always fun for people. And sometimes... I'm just sitting back and laughing my damn head off. It's a crapshoot whatever you're gonna get, but I think it's a good time anyway. If you like that sort of thing, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my own comedy and music early, and all sorts of other cool perks. But anyway, all of that out of the way, let us dive into this video. This came out on October... 25th, which is a week ago. I'm recording this at 12.30 at night on Halloween. Halloween is now over because it's past midnight. My power has been out all day, which is why I'm recording it so late. Uh, and uh, so the album came out already. This video came out. I was dealing with many things, dealing with many things more today, and this is why I'm finally getting to this now a week later. All of that said, I'm excited for this. I've listened to the Starbomb album twice already. I freaking love it. Um, but I don't know much about Elden Ring. And uh, the lyrics to this song, out of most of the songs that I've, that I've heard on the album, I haven't heard as clearly as I've heard some of the other ones. This and Joy-Con Drift, some of the lyrics kind of they go past the ears. I listen when I'm driving, so I'm also not paying 100% attention, so this is still going to be kind of fresh, especially the visuals, but the lyrics too. Um, but I do know the gist of what this song is about. Um, looking forward to getting the physical copy of the album with the lyric sheet in it so I can actually understand some things. But anyway, let's dive in. Shall we? Yes, I think we shall. Weird energy for 12.30 at night right now. Groove is undeniable in this song. I just want to dance. It's great. So, uh, before we even get into the lyrics, uh, Brian Wecht, not Ninja Brian, obviously those are two different people, uh, Brian had a uh, Instagram Live just a few days ago to discuss the album, the new Starbomb album, and was talking about how this album is different from the other albums and that they're using a lot of samples. Uh, and they're using them from a place... They're all royalty-free samples, I think, from a thing called Sizzle or something like that. I can't remember the name of the place where he said he was getting the samples. But the the majority of this song is samples. So the Got Me Like Ooh is from another song. Um, that particular section as the elevator was going down is from another thing. And so they're, they're, they're mixing samples in. There are some live instruments. Twerp is not on this album. But the whole aesthetic of this is like old school hip-hop stuff. There's some other band pastiches in there as well. But there's a, a lot of old school hip-hop flavor to this album that I really appreciate. Uh, and especially the, the sample heavy nature of it. Um, this song especially... Um, with these particular samples reminds me of a lot of stuff that I was doing in college. Uh, I was in a band called Pudding Capacity with my buddy DJ Wes K, and we were taking samples, uh, borrowing samples, not cleared. We didn't sell these records, so that's fine. Uh, and, and sampling things to make beats to make songs. Um, and a lot of the early Pudding Capacity stuff is like that. If you look around for Pudding Capacity, it's on my band camp. 
Um, but, uh, yeah, so this album reminds me of that stuff that we used to do, so that's why I have this really deep appreciation for this particular Starbomb album. But we haven't even gotten into the lyrics yet. This is just me battling. Yeah, welcome to my video. That's what happens. There's a little game and it's called Elden Ring. It's got a world and a story that is making me sick. They got the author of Game of Thrones writing the thing so you... <laughs> They got the author of Game, and Th Game of Thrones right in the thing, and he just pulls out J.R.R. Martin. Uh, it says, directed by Simon Mako, which is Shucheru's real name. Uh, Shucheru, who did the video for the uh, Pokemon Smasher Pass uh, Starbomb song, which we reacted to, also has done many videos for Ninja Sex Party and also Danny's side project, Shadow Academy. Um, I do say... This song is Aaron heavy. There is there. I, I Dan's not on the chorus in this one. Dan's in it, but he's not on the chorus of this one. And a lot of people are commenting that Dan's not on the choruses of a lot of songs. A lot of these songs don't have choruses. They're not traditional songs with choruses. Um, so it, the the usual format of you know. Da uh, Aaron raps the establishing joke and then it's reinforced in the chorus that Dan sings, that format is not really on any of these songs on this album. Uh, which they, I think, probably did on purpose because they revealed that format in This Song Sucks, the last song uh, from the previous Starbomb album. So I, I think that may have been more on purpose than they initially intended. Uh... I do love the fact that Aaron's outfit in this, which is what I was starting to say, uh, he's wearing a mask, so there's no no need to do a lip sync on, on lips on this. It makes it easier. Um, <laughs> Cost-cutting measures. <laughs> I, you know, I appreciate that kind of thing. No, that shit is good as fuck. Praise the king. I'm running around. <laughs> okay, okay, hang on a second. Uh, I gotta take it back here to a specific shot. The thing so you know that shit is good as fuck. So, so this shot, this Praise the King shot, uh, somebody has made, I don't know if it was specifically an Elden Ring piece of art, but it is very fantasy style art of somebody bowing with a sword in front of a giant dude, creature, person thing, and Shooch is obviously referencing that, uh, Apparently somebody pointed that out to the original artist, and they retweeted it, and Shuchiro was like, alright, senpai notice me, or, or whatever. So, <laughs> the fact that this, this shot is actually a reference to the popular memed image uh, is, is great. I love when they work stuff like that into the videos. It's easier to do an animation, too. The king. I'm running around, checking the town, cleaning up dragons and giants and knights with all kinds of lights and the hero little Man, there's so much fast stuff going around, like the running around bit is just Aaron's head bopping to different places on the map. Uh and and cycling through all the different creatures. There's a lot of uh ADHD of the eyes happening. There's just so much going on. Uh uh, I dig that. I dig that. It's it, We haven't even jumped into establishing what the song's about yet other than Elden Ring, and the title is Kiss the Elden Ring. The subject of the song dude, takes a left turn. It wouldn't be a comedy song if it didn't. Uh, let's take it back a little bit here, uh, just because uh, I'm, I'm enjoying it and I want to keep going back, and it's my show, damn it. Praise the king. I'm running around, checking the town, cleaning up dragons and giants and knights with all kinds of lights, and I hear a little voice in the distance. Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, I cannot miss this. Oh, my stars. Bitch, are you a jar? I'm so happy to see you. Fuck that. I want to be you. I <laughs> I'm so happy to see you. Fuck that. I want to be you. Aaron's got weird predilections. Let's let's just get that out of the way. At least on this album, Aaron does. We don't know if any of that's true. Dan's always the one of being accused of being a furry. But this album, the pansexuality is strong. 
I'm Alexander, I'm stuck in this hole, I'm also called the Iron Fist. Listen, bitch, you got me like, Ooh. and I don't know why I am only for this one, you get mystified. <laughs> and there we have it. And I don't know why I am horny for this, getting mystified. Uh, just embarrassed by your own boner. That's what that a face is. That's, that's, yeah. Perfect. Uh, I love the hook on this. The got me like ooh hook that they've sampled for this is so fucking good. And it works so well for this weird song concept they've established. It's so good. I love it. Okay, gotta take it back to that shot real quick. What the fuck is the Elden Ring? <laughs> I got a tension divide. And also the chorus of those weird creatures singing the got me like ooh. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. The Elden Ring with this just I'd like to bathe in the innards of this fucking guy. All right, this shot, this shot is an amazing shot of Aaron bursting forth from the gooey innards of Alexander the Jar. And also, we've got Danny and Ninja Brian in the background singing. Well, Danny singing. Brian doesn't, Ninja Brian doesn't talk. A any voice that you hear on the album of Starbomb is not Ninja Brian. That's Brian Wecht, because Ninja Brian doesn't talk, and Brian Wecht has taken over. Ninja Brian is showing up in all the visuals, but that's because they all had to sign, sign an ironclad NDA when Ninja Brian left Starbomb for reasons we don't know because of the ironclad NDA. Brian described all of this on his Twitter and Instagram and whatnot. Uh, but yes, the voices that you're hearing are not Ninja Brian, because Ninja Brian doesn't speak. The voices is Brian Wecht. PhD. I cannot stand by when the least I could do is make this ceramic pot fly. <laughs> Please, the tear forming. Shujiru is so good at, at conveying simple comedic moments in the animation like there's like that by itself in any other song isn't funny but this is a guy singing about how he wants to get all in up all up in them guts of a jar which was a sentence that I didn't think I was going to say and uh, my brain didn't tell my mouth fast enough how to say it so I had to say it slower because you heard me stumble on it because this is video and that's how that works um, uh, what a fucking song concept, right? Yeah. Sir, give me a good snack from the rear with something nice and big. You just fucking made my whole year. Ah, oh, well played. <laughs> Pleasure is mine. Pretty takes a rotted flesh as a thanks for your time. Wait, hold up, hold on. Was that flesh up inside you? What? <laughs> like, I know it's a From Software game, and sometimes... Some of that shit can be weird. So here's a jar that is a living jar. And if you smack him, you get some rotted flesh that was contained within. Uh, he hit me from the back with something large. Uh, innuendo. Uh, obviously Aaron was into that. Uh, but yeah, this is... I said, oh, a whole bunch, didn't I? So what? Uh, this is just... Re goddamn ridiculous. Let's take it back a little bit here. As a prize for for smacking me in the rear, because that's clearly what I wanted, have some rotted flesh. Because video games. Take some rotted flesh as a thanks for your time. Wait, hold up, hold on. Was that flesh up inside you? Why, yes. All the enemies I put up inside me. Aw, oh, damn, now I'm jealous that I'm not up inside you. If I let you kick my ass, can I be all up inside you? What? Now, there can be something to be said about using the same phrase as the rhyme for itself. Like, there are many times when, when artists will rhyme right 
with right. Saying right again, you know. Or, like, in, 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 uh, the song, uh, Airplanes. Airplanes up in the sky, and uh, they, he rhymes fold with fold. And for some people, that seems like lazy writing. You're rhyming the word with itself. Here, because it's a comedy song, and uh, rules don't apply to comedy songs, honestly. Form and structure are only really there to make the song be enjoyable as a song. But because it's comedy, form and structure can be thrown out the fucking window. Uh, and with this, he didn't just rhyme it twice. All Up Inside You is the end of, like, five lines in a row. So the repetition of that line becomes the comedy. It's like you're expecting them to say something else, but no, All Up Inside You is where he wants to be, literally, figuratively, and sexually, so having that repetition coming through is the joke itself. In any other song, that would be lazy songwriting. In a comedy song, repetition is the joke. Uh, I love that. I, like I said, sometimes I unnecessarily explain things, but uh, I'm explaining why it's funny to me. Uh, so, you know, that there's, there's so much weird structure to, to a comedy song anyway, because of, like, concept, but also trying to make it enjoyable as a song by itself. Play it. Pleasure is mine. Prithee takes a rod and flashes. Now thanks for your time. Wait, hold up, hold on. Was that flesh up inside you? Why, yes. Fallen enemies I put up inside me. Aw, oh, damn. Now I'm jealous that I'm not up inside you. If I let you kick my ass, could I be all up inside you? What am I thinking, man? This bull got... Okay, four times, not five. But still, in a row, all up inside you. Why not? Fan of my face, the way this fucker talks, put me in my place. Disgrace to let my parents know that I'm simping a vase when he's like, my <laughs> Disgrace to let my parents know I'm simping a vase. That line has never been spoken by anyone speaking the English language before. Simping a vase. This song is the first time anyone has ever uttered those words in that order. I guarantee goddamn to you. J uh, yeah. I'm going to take it back again some more. Because just... Also, the poses that, that Shooch uh, does. If I let you kick my ass, can I get all up inside you? Double entendre, number one. But kick my ass, and bent over specifically for the ass kicking. These guys are subtle, is what I'm saying. Can I be all up inside you? What am I thinking, Please. man? This bull got a fan on my face. The way this fucker talks put me in my place. Disgrace to let my parents know that I'm simping a vase when he's like, my heart was bigger. That's just making my penis bigger. <laughs> <laughs> and then sometimes innuendo is dropped, and you know, filling my heart with vigor there just makes my penis bigger. Yeah, okay, that's a line that was just said in a song about Elden Ring and a guy wanting to have sex with an anthropomorphic jar of rotted flesh. In case you missed it, that's the song concept laid bare. That's what Alexander is. Anthropomorphic jar of rotted flesh. What is my job sometimes? Right? Like, I analyze and talk about and react to songs like this. And I, I love songs like this, too, because ridiculousness is great. I love ridiculousness for ridiculousness' sake. It's funny. Um, and this album is a banger. This song is a bop. But also, if you're listening to the lyrics of this song that's a bop... This is fucked up, man. There's no other way around it. But hey, whatever blows your hair back, man. I'm not one to kink shame. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> I forgot about the Little Brown Jug sample. Oh my god, that's a really old song, and it's actually a, a kind of a famous song, and the fact that they have that sample in there it is just perfect, because a jug, a vase, a jar, those are all kind of similar things, or names for similar items, and to have that sample just be shoved right there in the middle of the song, right after Aaron says, you make my penis bigger, uh, just to have that, that sample come through is, is genius in its execution, just, just in the structure of the song. That's so good. Alright, I, I took it back a little further than I intended to. Yes, I know you can hit the comma and the period buttons to advance frame by frame, except that that doesn't work for me, for whatever reason. So, everybody says it in the comments, and I have to say it every time. Uh, that one doesn't work. Just the only thing that works are the arrow keys and the J and the L. That's that's all that works for me moving time on the keyboard. <coughs> Whatever, sorry. Aaron's no good simp in the vase, but he's like, my heart was bigger. That's just making my penis bigger. Like... Shichiro does just, I, again, I've said this, such amazing expressions. Like, Aaron biting his bottom lip, thinking about all the things, and like, in the background, they're like, in a tender embrace, they're holding hands, Aaron's, uh, gauntleted hand, and the rotted, weird, meaty flesh hand of Alexander, and just going through, like, typical relationship-style photographs in the background, and as Aaron's thinking about it, and Alexander's hands on his shoulders, and just getting the warm fuzzies, but also the growing feeling. Yeah, just, yeah. Just to let my heart ajar, cause I'm thinking now I might be in love with a jar. I might think it's quite bizarre, but I'm looking at other kitchen implements and they... I'm looking at other kitchen implements and they got me like, ooh. Uh, I need to take it back a little bit here to the beginning of this chorus because I think he does rhyme jar with jar, but I think he rhymes a jar with a jar. That's different. That's different. I'll explain why in a second. Okay. Must have left my heart ajar because I'm thinking now I must be in a love in love with ajar. Ajar, the word a j a r, ajar means open. Left my heart open. Like sometimes uh, back in the late '90s, early 2000s, uh, some cars would talk to you and so if you left your door open, or you didn't fully close it, your door in your car, your car would say your door is ajar, meaning your door is partially open. Uh, some stand-up comics would say, your door is ajar, your window is a bowl. You know, just to be hacky comic bullshit. Um, but yes, ajar meaning open. So, my heart's ajar because I'm in love with a jar. Alexander is a jar, a jar. So it's it's rhyming with the same thing, the hacky thing we mentioned before, but also it's not. The fold and fold thing in the Airplanes song is almost along that because it's two different versions of fold also, but that one is definitely hacky. This one, it's comedy, it's okay to make it hacky. Honestly, sometimes that is the saving grace of comedy songs. Uh, because, like I said, structure be damned. You can do whatever you want in a comedy song. You can rhyme the same thing 27 times in a row if you want. Uh, so this, this little bit of jar and jar actually becomes clever in a comedy song. Because... Fuck it. My thing is quite bizarre, but... Also, he says my dick is quite bizarre. Looking at other kitchen implements and they... Is there a warrior spoon? Oh, fuck, the thought of it's gonna be by making me swoon. Is there a warrior spoon? The body's making me swoon. 
there's a spoon holding a giant sword with the one shoulder uh, armor flipping Aaron off. And there's, there's Brian and Dan by its feet. That's great. Uh, spoon and swoon. Yeah. I guess I better admit that I am sexually attracted to things that I cook stuff with. <laughs> Again, I guess I'd better admit I think I'm sexually attracted to things that I cook stuff with. <sighs> These are... You, you come across songs that are full of sentences that no one has ever said before. I, I, said, I said that earlier about simping for a jar, and then, and then you just get more examples of it in this weird as shit song. And that's kind of beautiful, if you really think about it. Just don't think about it too hard. <laughs> Take it. The more. That's 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 funny. It's very subtle. It's it's a a fireplace with pillows, a bearskin rug, and there's a bowl there that he just snatches out of the frame to do what with. We can only imagine, because I think showing it on screen would, would probably not pass YouTube standards. Yo, the more I look, I see ladies around staring at me. There's a witch named Ronnie, but it ain't the right time. See, her forearms are on me, but none of them hook on me. And fe <laughs> so, okay, so I think we're actually naming characters from the game again. Uh, Ronnie's got four arms, not, not the forearm, not, not the, the forearm, four arms are on me. Uh, I, I need to take it back because there's one line there that I actually kind of miss. Or I look, I see ladies around staring at me. There's a witch named Ronnie, but it ain't the right time. See, her forearms are on me, but none of them cook on me. But none of them cook pawn me? Coupon me? I, I'm not quite catching that line. Uh, it could be about cooking because he's in love with cooking implements, but the line doesn't, I don't quite catch the line. I'm sure someone in the comments will tell me what it is, but th that line I'm missing, so. I could try to put the captions up, but they have been unreliable as of late, so I'm not gonna. In fear, I see ya, but I can't guarantee ya as I gaze into your eyes on this bed from Ikea. But that blessing when you're pressing me into your chest isn't impressing me more than the stainless steel zest. <laughs> then the stainless steel zest stop! I love I love that. Everything is like the IKEA joke is great by itself. Taking it back to that is oh, I took it too far. But it ain't the right time. See, her forearms are on me, but none of them cook on me. And Fia, I see ya, but I can't guarantee ya. Fia, I see ya, I can't guarantee ya on this bed from Ikea. As I gaze into your eyes on this bed from my The, uh, the... Carl is... Because making up funny sounding words for Ikea furniture is a, a common joke. Uh... But still, I mean, I think they've actually talked about that on Game Grumps, about how that kind of is an easy joke. <laughs> and we've made the joke. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's, it, I, I love that they've, like, drawn the actual Ikea helper guy who is in all the instructions to show you how to build stuff. And there's, there's actually, like, more detail in this Ikea thing, in this Ikea shot, than I initially anticipated. Because you've got the little wooden dowels that, like, at the top of the instructions, you see the little wooden pieces that, like, when you're building the stuff out of the particle board shit that you get from Ikea, the little wooden dowels that go in that you attach different sides to. There's the frickin' Allen wrench. There's the screw that goes on top of, like, the other screws that you screw into things so that the pieces will lock. I've built a lot of IKEA furniture, so I recognize this shit. Uh, that's all I'm saying. But the attention to the detail there, that's nice. 
Uh, yeah. But that blessing when you're pressing me into your chest isn't impressing me more than the stainless steel zest. Ah! Out of a puff of vapor appears Molina, but you know that steamy babe isn't a milk steamer. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Out of a puff of vapor appears Molina, but you know that steamy babe isn't a milk. We have we have the Drake meme, which you know. Let's be honest. Let's replace Drake in the Drake meme. Uh, but the the no yes. Uh, she's a steamy babe, but she's not a milk steamer. Uh, cause it's, it's, it, we're going full on, let's name kitchen appliances he'd like to bone. Uh, yeah, the, the zester sounds painful. Let's be honest. I don't know what you're doing with that. And hey, you know, I'm not gonna, uh, kink shame you yeah, again, like I said before. Uh, but that, it just seems wrong and painful. Yeah. But hey, if you're into that, good for you. Steamer, got a pica rata pica, who's spirit tuning, but a spoon is the soonest thing you'll find me spooning. <laughs> Back to the spoon. The spoon is the soonest thing you'll find me spooning. Because uh, spooning uh, is when you're, you're, you're cuddled up to somebody, uh, they're back to your front. Spooning, like how spoons sit in a drawer. And I've explained what spooning is now in a video. People used to do uh, Ian out of context videos. They would take things that I've said out of context and just put them in clips. And uh, I don't. I, I I miss that, and I don't miss that in moments like this because out of context, this entire video is problematic. Uh, but, uh, whatever. Uh, it, <laughs> I, I kind of do miss people doing that sometimes. And on, when the chorus hits and the got me like, ooh, it's like sends color through everything. It all looks so great. I think I'm losing my mind. Should I see a therapist or make a blender my bride? Should I see a therapist or make a blender my bride? Uh... No, sometimes, yes. I, I, I'm i repeating the lyrics here because I want to make sure that they're clear for people who are not seeing them on the screen because there are no... I don't have the captions up because the captions have been terrible lately. Um, uh, but also, just lying there with all, like, the spatulas and things around him there in that shot, that's losing sleep about this. Should I see a therapist... Or marry a blender. Yeah, just, yeah. These are these are important questions that everyone has asked themselves. No matter what I do, the thought of fucking that sexy piece of funky porcelain. I'm stopping it here for a specific reason. First, because he says he uh, fucking that sexy piece of porcelain has got me like ooh. But also, Brian carefully shoves the chair into the shot, and he's arched his back over it, and is about to pull a chain like it's goddamn flash dance, and she's dumping the water on herself. Some of you may not get this reference. This is a reference to a 1980s uh, movie about a steel worker who wants to be a dancer. It's called Flashdance. And this is like one of the most famous shots from that movie. Uh, I... Working that into a reference about fucking a pot. Why not? Anything goes in internet videos. And there it is. What does WWIFAD stand for? What would I fuck Alexander, dude? I don't. I don't know what that. I don't know if that's what that means. But Alexander the, the jar. But I F. I well. Let's take it back. Maybe maybe we'll learn it in the lyrics. I went too far. Uh, I keep hitting the wrong button. I keep meaning to hit the arrow button, not the J. We've got a whisk, we've got a bottle, a, a pan, a couple different types of spatulas, a uh, meat tenderizer right above the uh, the therapist's face, 
uh, a couple forks and spoons, a wit, like uh, 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 plates, a couple regular pieces of silverware, a pot lid. Uh, there's a pizza slicer on the very, on the, the very right side of the screen. Kinky. To Alexander and be blunt, like uh, Danny and and Ninja Brian are, are being so supportive of Aaron in this moment. Like, hey, here's Alexander. Go tell him how you feel. Be blunt. Yeah, it's good to have friends that that support you. I'm gonna give it all I've got. I'm gonna stop repressing my depressing thoughts and try to fuck that pot. Not suppressing my depressing feelings and try to fuck that pot. <sighs> Going in a full gold outfit that he's laid out. The shoe is the suit. We're gonna see it in action in the next shot, I'm sure. So, I just arrived in the Caleb Wilds. <laughs> see my boy Alexander and I'm all smiles. Check my breath, comb my hair, and I look over there. And guarding a castle door, a dinosaur-sized motherfucking giant pot! <laughs> oh no. Yeah, Alexander was just picking up more guts to put inside of him because that's what he does. And there's there's an even bigger pot. I kind of remember this this next line in the song. Oh god, what do I do? Alexander's waving at me now, but now I got new feelings for the massive pot. Maybe I should have tried to make it work with Billy and her star rod. With Billy and her scarlet rot, as he opens his pants, that's... Scarlet rot's not an STI I've ever heard of, but it sounds wrong. Uh, okay. He's lifting up his foot, how did he know that I'm into that kind of... <laughs> <laughs> and there it is. And there it is. I, I was remembering that line. The big... Step on me, mommy energy that Aaron brought when playing Resident Evil 8 with Lady Dimitrescu. He's lifting up his foot. How did he know I was into that? Smash! Just completely obliterated by the giant dinosaur-sized pot. The end of the song. Amazing. Oh my star! Well, as long as no one's using this meat, I guess I could just put this into my jar body. Yes. Mm. Uh, yes. The, the splurting sounds as every time he inserts more. Mm, yes. <laughs> it kills me on the record. It kills me in the, in the video. That's just fantastic. And then we get to the end, and I bet... At the end here, there's going to be a promo about the album, because I know how videos work, and I've seen a lot of these before. Full Star Bomb Boom Rise of Lyrics album is out right now. You can get them wherever you get music. You can get a vinyl, you can get a CD. Go check it out, links in the description below. And thank you so much to Shucheru for making this music video unbelievably funny. God damn! <laughs> That's from one of the uh, Grumps 10 Minute Power Hours. Uh, I've ordered both the vinyl and the CD. I'm very excited for when they show up. Go check out Shuchu's other videos, too. And two more music videos coming out very soon. Oh, shit! I didn't know there were more videos coming. That's exciting! There were three leading up to the album. This one dropped when the album dropped. But we've got two more coming. That's exciting! Uh, I don't know what they will be for, but I'm looking forward to that, and of course, I will react to them when they come out. On November 22nd and December 13th. Good to know, November 22nd and December 13th, one a month. We've had one a month since October, since August. August, September, it's October now and just had a video. November and December, five videos for this, for this album uh, across five months. That's fantastic. Uh, so end of next month and beginning of December, two new videos from Starbomb. Obviously, I'll be reacting to them here. Uh... I, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I did. Uh, if you did, you know, want to hear this song without me, 
yammering all over it. Of course, the link is in the description box below. If you liked this video, like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, like the folks over here do, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, all sorts of other cool things like that. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Got me like, ooh.